Mm. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to another week of word of mouth, mental health, career advice, etc. Like and subscribe to our channel. Link down below if you need any advice, want to email us about anything. So I thought this situation was was over, but it's evolved into more. A little bit more, not a lot more. Well, this is a lot, actually. And it actually goes into a topic I wanted to touch upon as well. I won't put this under the do's or don'ts of relationship, but no, nah, I will. This goes under do's and don'ts of relationships, but it also goes under, you know, friends. Now, a uh, couple of days have passed when, since this happened, but... You know, there were some allegations between Kiki Palmer dating August Alcina, and there was a tweet. You can see it on the screen now. It says, yes, girl, August was never my man. That's why you're reaching for, still reaching to this day to figure out nothing. August replied, you're absolutely right. I was never your man. You couldn't possibly never be shorty. It seems you mad you got curved, but your friends are the reasons for that. They showed me an endless thread of tw- text pics of me. That you sent sent worried about who I'm dating and begged me not to further your mental instability. Let me just go ahead and say that's some like I'm on Joe. He's a messy guy because this was unnecessary. Her reply wasn't even to him. It was to the chick who was trying to be funny. So I don't understand why he felt like he had to jump out the window on her like that. It was uncalled for because she didn't throw him no shade or nothing like that. But granted. He could have felt some type of way and know her on a more personal level. I don't think that was the case. I'm usually good on picking up on shit like that, but I don't think that was the case at all. So, but what I got to say to about this is your friends, especially the women. This happens with guys too. So I'm not going to say especially with women. But no, I'm going to say especially with women because I've seen it more so with women. Like, I've actually gone through this a couple times, too. But jealousy is a real thing. Misery loves company. That is a real thing. All of that shit is real. And don't take it lightly. Because how would August know that she got these text messages and all this talking about him? I mean, it seems a little bit obsessive. But you get this from your so-called friends why is your friends out here doing that you know why are they putting your business out there on front street that you like the guy you want to date him you trying to see what he's about because i think most women do stuff like this i don't think this is really uncommon for women to do it's a little creepy it's a little weird but hell i got exes i've been having dated in five six plus years still stalking me adding me add asking people about me and whatnot so i mean it is what it is she just seemed real excited and into him. And if he pulls stunts like this, I can see why she says don't further disturb her mental mental instability because you messy, dude. And her friends are just as bad. And a perfect example of this is that is the character Insecure, um, insecure Molly. Now, I can't say I've watched the whole show. I kind of have. I watched it through another channel because somebody else was talking about it. But a lot of you women have friends like Molly. Yeah. You may not want to admit to it, but you do. Y'all have friends like her and y'all don't want to accept it or admit it or see it. Y'all friends that'll do petty stuff like that, send it to the guy, or make you make break up with the guy, or make a situation more out worse than what it is, and then now you're looking stupid in the face, single or whatnot. When you think about it in hindsight, but now because you ain't got the guy anymore, you got your friends, so you stick with them even longer, and they're just making the situation worse. And guys, this happens to you too, so don't think it don't happen. And guys will do it over a. Uh, over women like i remember a guy doing like he was lying to this girl telling this guy he was a player he was this he was that all to sleep with the guy all to sleep with the girl and he's not even that type of guy and it's like you do this all for the sake of sex with a girl who 
you this is what you do you take it to that far and if my motto is if they'll do this over something as simple as a partner then they'll do this over money and other things as well because there's too many people in the world to be throwing somebody under the bus for one especially this was in college i was in a situation like this where a young lady i was feeling her you know we were flirting whatever i like blew her a kiss in the calf that's what we call it it was lunchroom whatever y'all want to call it and you know she smiled or whatever but then my so-called friend came back and told me, oh, she didn't like that. She's like, why would he do that? I don't want him talking to me, etc., etc." So I was like, all right, I just left her alone and left it at that. So time went on. I think it was like a year, year and a half went on. And I saw her and I just walked by her and she straight up asked me, why did you stop talking to me? And I was confused. I said, the guy's name said, you didn't want me talking to you anymore. And she was like, I never said that. I wouldn't have said that. And she was like confused. She was like, this really happened? Like, this dude really cock blocked the whole situation based on what? And it was like, I didn't even know how to approach it anymore. It's like, I was speechless because it was like, well, who would do that? Like, why would you do this over a chick? You know what I'm saying? In hindsight, I should have apologized for that. And I should have said, well, and you know, I could have missed an opportunity. I guess I could have been like, you know, well, you know, I didn't know we can start this or talk or we can take, I should have asked her out or something like that. But I guess I was so blown back by it because I known the guy for so long that he would, you know, come out and do this. And then other women have told me he's done stuff like this as well. And they were and like they were women. And then what makes it worse, there were women who stopped hanging around us based on him and nobody else. But he felt like he was the cool guy in the group. And women, this happens to y'all as well. Y'all have friends around you who just want. Like I've said it before, they people want to see you do well, but not better than them. And when they know they can't find somebody or nobody going to put up with their stuff, they'll put things in your mind, in your head to keep you single and keep you down. So this is just some advice to women. This is advice to guys. Even, like, keep it, keep it as private as you can for as long as you can, because when y'all have everything established and then somebody from the outside comes in and tries to like changing into something else you already have an understanding of what's going on what's been said and what's not been said and this and that and the third and because you already have the understanding now you can look at this person and be like mm -mm, you full of shit or now nah, i now nah, i realize you're not really for me so just be weary of that and be weary and i'm gonna tell you ladies be weary of guys like that because that's also wrong too and girls like that as well because that, that young lady i appreciate her telling me that i because i dismissed them all together like she told me that she told me straight up and I'll, I'll be real i thought she might have been lying at first but she wasn't because other women told me that as well you don't want to deal with guys like that either or people like that as well because they're not telling you the truth or like like letting you know like hey you got some you got some shady people around you and then he had a whole text message threads you know what i'm saying to prove to her like you got some faulty friends that you need to let go and he just kind of let it ride, let it happen. Then now he's using it as ammo later to embarrass her, which is wrong because she didn't say anything detrimental to him. She just said that was never my man, and she didn't put it in caps. She didn't, she didn't like disrespect him. She was really coming at the chick who was trying to disrespect her, which is so his whole comment is unnecessary and kind of good that she didn't date this guy because he does seem real in, in, unstable and real messy kind of immature it could have been because of jada because what jada did was very toxic and she essentially just used him but i just i uh covered that in the other video about her predatory behavior yeah because like that girl molly she's just like if you really if y'all really take the time and look back at people and like really survey the people around you a lot of y'all have molly-esque people around you like chicken insecure like y'all have people like that around you and you need to be conscious that you have people like that around you sometimes it's just you need to take that step back and know that people aren't really for you or people have their own demons or own misery that they haven't overcome and won't ever overcome for because they don't want to or maybe they just being around being around you because you serve some type of purpose or benefit maybe you make them look better maybe Maybe they help you help them get girls or guys, or maybe they, you know, money. Maybe they see a potential in you and just want to be part of your light, light, excuse me. So just be conscientious of that.
so like and su subscribe to our channel link down below if you need any advice or anything like that uh anything you, any topics you may want me to cover or anything like that just let me know uh so this is word of mouth peace mm. <laughs>